Did you know that Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee? Yes, you heard that right. But there's more brewing in this remarkable land than just your morning pick-me-up. Ethiopia is a place where ancient history and vibrant culture converge, and we're about to dive into the rich tapestry of its extraordinary life. 1. Ethiopia is known as the Cradle of Humanity. It's believed to be the origin of Homo sapiens, with archaeological finds dating back over 3 million years. 2. Coffee, one of the world's most beloved beverages, has its roots in Ethiopia. Legend has it that a goat herder named Kaldi first discovered coffee beans after noticing his goats became lively and energetic after eating them. 3. Ethiopia is home to the ancient city of Aksum, known for its towering obelisks or stele. These massive stone monuments, some dating back to the 4th century, are intricately carved and serve as a testament to the city's historical significance. 4. Ethiopia has its unique calendar system, called the Guizi calendar. It's roughly seven to eight years behind the Gregorian calendar, and New Year's Day, known as Nkutatash, is celebrated in September. 5. Simeon Mountains National Park in Ethiopia is often referred to as the Roof of Africa due to its rugged terrain and towering peaks. The park is home to numerous endemic species and offers breathtaking views. 6. Ethiopia is the only African country never to have been colonized by a European power. It successfully defended its sovereignty during the scramble for Africa in the late 19th century. 7. Lalabella, a town in Ethiopia, is famous for its rock-hewn churches, including the iconic St. George's Church. These incredible structures were carved entirely from solid rock in the 12th century. 8. Ethiopia is known for its diverse and delicious cuisine, with injera, a sourdough flatbread, and what, a spicy stew, being staples. The communal act of sharing food from a single plate, known as gusha, is a cherished tradition. 9. Ethiopia is the origin of the Rastafarian movement, which emerged in the 1930s. Rastafarians believe that Ethiopia is the promised land and regard Haile Selassie, the former emperor of Ethiopia, as a divine figure. 10. The Great Rift Valley, which stretches through Ethiopia, is one of the Earth's most significant geological features. It's home to stunning lakes, including Lake Abiata and Lake Shaula, teeming with unique wildlife. 11. Ethiopia is known for its diverse linguistic landscape, with over 80 different languages spoken. Amharic is the official language, but Oromo and Tigrinya are also widely spoken. 12. The Ark of the Covenant, according to Ethiopian tradition, is believed to be housed in the Church of St. Mary of Zion in Aksum. Only a select few are allowed to see it making it one of the world's most mysterious religious artifacts. 13. The epic tales of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba are believed to have unfolded here. Some even claim that their legendary love affair gave birth to a royal dynasty. 14. The otherworldly landscapes of the Danakil Depression could easily be mistaken for a Martian outpost. 15. Ethiopia is a landlocked country located in the Horn of Africa in the eastern part of the African continent. 16. The Naga Bajalokia, also known as the Ghost Pepper, hails from this land and once held the title of the world's spiciest pepper. It's not for the faint of heart. 17. In some tribal communities, lip plates are a symbol of beauty and status. People from these tribes stretch their lower lips to accommodate large decorative plates, making for a truly unique and fascinating tradition. 18. The sounds of jazz reverberate through the streets of the capital, Addis Ababa. The city has a thriving jazz scene that's become an essential part of its cultural identity. 19. The humble tukul, a traditional Ethiopian round hut with a conical roof, is an architectural marvel. These structures are made from natural materials and can withstand both scorching sun and torrential rains. 20. Malnutrition is a challenge for many children in Ethiopia. The country has made progress in addressing this issue, but it still affects a significant portion of the child population. 21. Child marriage remains a significant issue in Ethiopia, with many girls being married off at a young age. 22. The Simeon Mountains are a haven for unique wildlife, including the Ethiopian wolf and the gelada baboon. 23. The ancient city of Gondar, known as the Camelot of Africa, is brimming with fairy tale castles and royal lore. It's like stepping into a medieval storybook. 24. The streets burst with vibrancy during Timcat, the Ethiopian epiphany. It's a time when people don white robes and gather around water bodies to celebrate with exuberant processions and ceremonies. 25. 
The ancient Guizhi script is a mesmerizing blend of symbols and lines. It's one of the oldest alphabets in the world, with roots that reach back thousands of years. 26. The surreal landscapes of the Afar Triangle include boiling lava lakes and sulfur springs. 27. The terraced fields of the highlands showcase ingenious farming techniques. The stepped fields not only maximize arable land, but also create a stunning patchwork of greens. 28. Many tribes here embrace age-old traditions, such as body painting and intricate beadwork. 29. The journey to some remote villages can be an adventure in itself. The rugged mountain roads and breathtaking cliffside paths are not for the faint-hearted but promise unforgettable vistas. 30. The Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church follows ancient Christian traditions, including unique practices like the use of sistrums, ceremonial drums, and colorful religious robes. 31. The vast salt flats of the Danakil Depression shimmer like a mirage, creating an almost surreal landscape. It's a place where the boundaries between reality and illusion blur. 32. On the islands of Lake Tana, hidden monasteries hold religious treasures and vibrant frescoes. These serene sanctuaries are like islands of spirituality in the heart of nature. 33. Ethiopia has one of the youngest populations in the world, with a significant percentage of its population being children and young adults. 34. Lake Abijada hosts a stunning spectacle as thousands of flamingos gather to feed. The sight of these elegant pink birds against the shimmering waters is a true natural wonder. 35. The Simeon Mountains offer some of the world's most exhilarating trekking experiences. Hiking through this UNESCO World Heritage Site rewards you with breathtaking vistas and encounters with wildlife. 36. Some tribes practice indigenous religions, with beliefs deeply intertwined with nature and ancestral spirits. 37. Indigenous tribes in this region have displayed astonishing astronomical knowledge for centuries, using the stars to guide their way in the vast desert landscapes. 38. The ancient walled city of Hara has a unique culture characterized by its colorful homes, labyrinth and streets, and a centuries-old tradition of feeding wild hyenas as a nightly ritual. It's a fascinating blend of history and folklore. 39. Marvel at ancient monasteries carved into cliff faces, a testament to the unwavering devotion of the faithful. These remarkable religious sanctuaries appear as if they were sculpted by the hands of the divine. 40. From the hypnotic rhythms of traditional drums to the soul-stirring melodies of traditional instruments like the krar, the country's music scene is a rich tapestry of sonic expression that resonates with the heart and soul. 41. The bubbling sulfur springs and mineral-rich pools of Dalil resemble an alien landscape. The otherworldly colors and textures are a testament to the Earth's ever-evolving geological canvas. 42. The legendary marabou stork, with its enormous wingspan and graceful flight, holds a prominent place in local folklore. 43. The aromatic spice markets are a treasure trove for chefs and culinary enthusiasts. Here, you can find exotic spices like cardamom, cinnamon, and cloves that have infused flavors for generations. 44. The country's spice blends, like berbera and midmana, are more than just seasonings, they're the heart of traditional cuisine. 45. Waterfalls like the Blue Nile Falls, known as the Smoking Water, cascade dramatically through the rugged landscape, creating awe-inspiring vistas that fuel the imagination. 46. Across vast salt flats, caravans of camels transport salt blocks harvested from ancient salt pans. 47. The legendary Silk Road once passed through these lands, connecting the east and west. 48. The Mescal Festival, celebrated with bonfires and processions, marks the discovery of the True Cross. The sight of thousands of torches illuminating the night sky is a sight to behold. 49. The Blue Nile River, with its thundering rapids and dramatic gorges, has inspired countless legends. Local folklore tells of water spirits and river nymphs that dwell within its deep, swirling waters. 50. Hidden deep within the heart of the wilderness lie the remnants of ancient civilizations, such as the Kingdom of Aksum. 51. The Surma people, also known as the Suri people, are known for their distinctive scarification patterns, which are an important cultural and aesthetic practice within their community. 52. Celebrated on January 7th, Jenna, Ethiopian Christmas, is marked by a unique tradition called Yejina Chuata. Groups of young men engage in a game similar to field hockey, using wooden sticks and a ball made of twisted cloth, creating a festive and spirited atmosphere. 53. 
The Bale Mountains are a hotspot for Afro-Alpine flora, with unique plants adapted to the high-altitude environment. 54. Tef, a tiny grain native to Ethiopia, is not only a dietary staple but also the key ingredient in injera, a sourdough flatbread. This nutritious grain has gained popularity worldwide for its gluten-free properties and distinctive nutty flavor. 55. The Oromo people have a unique socio-political system called the Gata, where leadership rotates every eight years. 56. The Kaffa Biosphere Reserve is a lush and biodiverse region, known for its rich coffee heritage. It's considered one of the possible birthplaces of Arabica coffee and is a paradise for nature enthusiasts. 57. Ethiopia boasts an astonishing variety of climate zones, from the snow-capped peaks of the Simeon Mountains to the scorching desert landscapes of the Danakil Depression. 58. Lake Tana, the largest lake in Ethiopia, is dotted with ancient monasteries and churches. 59. In the capital city, Addis Ababa, a fleet of bright yellow taxis navigates the bustling streets. These taxis, often adorned with colorful artwork and symbols, are a quintessential part of the city's urban landscape. 60. Mescal Square in Addis Ababa serves as a central gathering place for major celebrations and events. 61. The Ethiopian lion, also known as the Abyssinian lion, is a subspecies of the African lion. It is smaller in size compared to lions found in other regions of Africa and has a distinctive mane. 62. Located atop a steep plateau in northern Ethiopia, Debra Demo is a 6th century monastery. What makes it unique is that it can only be accessed by climbing a sheer rock wall using a rope, making it one of Ethiopia's most challenging and remote monastic destinations. 63. Addis Ababa is sometimes called the City of Flowers due to its many parks, gardens, and tree-lined streets. 64. The giant lobelia is a fascinating plant species found in the high-altitude regions of Ethiopia. Some species of giant lobelia can grow up to 33 feet 10 meters in height. 65. The Ethiopian snub-nosed monkey, also known as the bleeding heart monkey due to a distinctive red chest patch, is an endangered species native to the highlands of Ethiopia. 66. The traditional coffee ceremony, known as bunna, is a ritual that involves roasting, grinding, and brewing coffee beans. It's a symbol of hospitality, and participants often engage in conversation and socializing during the ceremony. 67. Ethiopia is home to a population of African elephants, particularly in national parks like Babil Elephant Sanctuary. 68. Ethiopia's highest peak is Ras Dashan, which stands at 4,550 meters, 14,928 feet, above sea level. 69. Ethiopia has a rich tradition of long-distance running. Ethiopian athletes have achieved remarkable success in marathons and other track and field events at the Olympic Games and World Championships. 70. The diverse landscapes make Ethiopia a birdwatcher's paradise. From the colorful Ethiopian lovebird to the majestic Lammergeier, the avian wonders here are boundless. 71. Ethiopia is the second most populous country in Africa, after Nigeria. 72. The mezab is a traditional woven basket used for serving food. 73. Ethiopia shares its borders with six neighboring countries, Eritrea to the north and northeast, Djibouti and Somalia to the east, Kenya to the south, South Sudan to the west, and Sudan to the northwest. 74. The flag of Ethiopia features three horizontal stripes of green, yellow, and red, with a blue circle and a yellow star in the center. Each color and element on the flag holds significant symbolism. 75. Agriculture is the backbone of Ethiopia's economy, employing a significant portion of the population. Major crops include coffee, cereals, such as teff, pulses, and oil seeds. 76. In many Ethiopian communities, communal values are deeply ingrained. 77. Traditional healing practices, often based on herbal remedies and spiritual rituals, continue to play a significant role in healthcare in many parts of Ethiopia. 78. Addis Ababa is one of the highest capital cities in the world, situated at an elevation of approximately 2,355 meters, 7,726 feet, above sea level. 79. The Ethiopian hedgehog is a small and nocturnal insectivore found in Ethiopia's highlands. 80. Ethiopia is one of the earliest Christian nations in the world. Christianity was officially adopted as the state religion in the 4th century, making Ethiopia one of the first countries to do so. 
81. The Blue Nile, one of the two main tributaries of the Nile River, originates from Lake Tana in Ethiopia. 82. Life in Ethiopia varies greatly depending on factors such as location and ethnicity. In urban areas like Addis Ababa, you'll find a mix of modern and traditional lifestyles, while rural areas often maintain more traditional ways of life. 83. Family is highly valued in Ethiopian culture, and extended families often live together or in close proximity. Elders hold a respected role in the family structure. 84. The Omo Valley is a cultural treasure trove, home to a multitude of indigenous tribes, each with its own unique traditions, clothing, and adornments. 85. The Abyssinian cat, one of the oldest known cat breeds, is believed to have originated in the Ethiopian region. 86. Erda Ale, one of the world's most active volcanoes, hosts a continuously bubbling lava lake in its crater. 87. The Hamar tribe conducts a unique coming-of-age ceremony called bull jumping. Young men must jump over a line of cattle four times to prove their courage and earn the respect of the tribe. 88. The Addis Mercado, often considered one of the largest open-air markets in Africa, is a bustling trading center where one can find a wide range of goods, from clothing and textiles to spices and handicrafts. 89. Transportation options range from walking and animal-drawn carts in rural areas to buses, minibuses, and taxis in cities. The development of transportation infrastructure is ongoing. 90. Addis Ababa serves as the headquarters for the African Union, a continental organization dedicated to promoting unity and cooperation among African nations. 91. Ethiopia's geology holds significant mineral wealth, including gold, platinum, and opals. These resources have attracted interest from mining companies worldwide, promising economic growth and development. 92. The Surma people engage in a highly competitive sport known as stick fighting. This ritualistic combat, often performed to settle disputes or for entertainment. 93. The Mescal Daisy, scientifically known as Biden's Macroptera, is a vibrant yellow flower native to Ethiopia. 94. Tej is a traditional Ethiopian honey wine, often enjoyed during celebrations and gatherings. Crafted from honey, water, and a plant called Gesho, it's not only delicious but also a cultural symbol of hospitality. 95. The Lower Awash Valley in Ethiopia is considered one of the world's most important paleoanthropological sites. It has yielded numerous fossils of early humans and hominids, shedding light on our evolutionary history. 96. Emperor Menelik II, who ruled Ethiopia in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, is remembered for modernizing the country and resisting European colonization. 97. Ethiopian folklore is teeming with mythical creatures, including the fearsome Nialgadi, a monster said to haunt rivers, and the magical Kikai, a creature with hypnotic powers. 98. Traditional healers, known as Asmaris, often provide healthcare services in rural areas. 99. In rural areas, the Warka water towers provide a unique solution to the water scarcity issue. These towering bamboo structures harvest water from the air, providing clean drinking water to communities. 100. Lake Abe, located on the border with Djibouti, is known for its towering limestone chimneys. These surreal formations are created by geothermal activity, making the area a unique geological wonder. That was all for today's video and thank you for watching it. See you next time.